The meme level is over 9,000 right now. As always, guys, thank you for supporting the stream. It means a lot to me. Obviously going to go pick the Golem instead of Lava Hound. Lava Hound is so bad in this draft challenge because everyone seems to have multifarious air answers. And we're going to go take the Goblin Barrel because we want that. Going to take Minion Horde. Oh, no. No, guys, guys. I took Minion Horde and he has arrows. Oh, my intelligence. Where is it? Well, I guess we can hope that he uses the arrows on top of the, uh, the Goblin Barrel. That's kind of what I'm hoping for here instead of using Goblin Gang. Uh, all right, well, he has Goblin Gang, right? So traditionally, he would be able to get away with Goblin Gang, but he won't be able to get away with Goblin Gang since we have Log. So if we go Goblin Barrel in front and then use Log, we're going to be fine. Also, he doesn't know that we have Minion Horde, so he's probably not hovering arrows. He will arrow that, but he's, he wasn't hovering it because obviously we gave him Goblin... or we gave him Minion Horde and we gave him arrows. He's probably like, there's no way that this man has Minion Horde because he wouldn't have given me arrows, right? But he just... he's underestimating our stupidity here. He's underestimating it. <laughs> Next level BM, right? So obviously you want to go same lane as your Golem. Since it's a heavier tank, you always want to go same lane as the Lava Hound. I seriously can't believe I gave him Arrows and Minion Horde. Or I, I gave him Arrows and I took Minion Horde. It's just... It's not a good decision, man. It's really not a good life choice. I'm going to go stack. Or I'm not going to go stack. I'm going to go drop uh, a Witch as early as possible can I so I can go and stack Skeletons as soon as possible. We're going to go in for a Goblin Barrel because the, the Golem is tanking, so we're going to try to get as much damage as possible as well. And the real damage that he's going to be getting is from the Lava Hound Pups, but since we still have a Witch on the field, which is going to mitigate almost everything. The Golemites are so insidious. Look at all that damage. The Skeletons actually got some hits off on the Bowler. I like this, guys. If we're able to defend, it might be pretty clean. So what I'm thinking is I want to probably go in for Ice Spirit and then go in for a Golem. I think the Golem's going to tank up everything. And since the balloon is actually going to get hit, yeah, he... Why would you think that I would ever do that? Alright. I'm just going to go in for a minion horde. We're going to probably lose the tower, but we're going to have a really nice counter push here. Oh, we don't lose the tower. Okay, cool. 120 HP. Still laven thriving. Still kicking it here, boys. So I could go for a minion horde in the middle, but I just want to probably play a little bit more passively and chill. I'm going to go for witch in the back. Could go for a log for cycling purposes, but, you know, he's going to... Oh no, he's kind of just stockpiling a lot of stuff. He's, he's getting pretty frisky here. I'm going to go in for a log. Do I allow him to take the tower? I think I don't. And then I go in for... Do I want to go in for minion horde or do I want to go in for... Oh my god, he actually used his arrows. Dude, do you understand the ramifications of your, of your decisions, sir? How many witches can we get on the field? I kind of want to do it for the meme, but he did end up going in for his arrow, so I got to spank him. As much as I want to drop the third witch, I think this is a much better play just going in for the double minion horde when he doesn't have an answer. The flock of minions... Oh, wait, no, he had an answer. He did have an answer. I repeat, this man had an answer, guys. Unfortunately, he did. Look at the witch just clobbering away on the tower. I'm going to go in for a log as well. Okay, this is not, not amazing, actually. Huh. All right, so is he back to anything with... Is he back to balloon? I'm going to go for minion where I think it will end up killing before he ends up dropping arrows. Pretty nice play. And then I go in for uh, Golem right in the middle. Going in for Golem in the middle, he doesn't have any way of drawing it. So all I need is one hit and then we do cop the W, guys. So all I got to do is cycle Ice Spirit and then go cycle a second Ice Spirit and let my Golem just shred his tower into, into pieces. Good game and well played. Despite the horrible decision of giving this man arrows and taking minion horde, we still walk away with the W. So I'm pretty happy to win that game. Ah, you really have to appreciate the memes on a spiritual level to give your opponent arrows and take minion horde. Do you ever snipe when you push on ladders? No, I don't. Alright, so we're gonna go pick giant. We're gonna go give him hog rider. I'm gonna take skeletons so then we have a, a way of killing the hog rider whereas ice spirit just doesn't do anything. I'm gonna go take dark goblin because it's just a little bit better if, uh, oh man. Now we're in a situation where I kind of have to take bowler. I was going to say Dark Goblin is a little bit better if I get other Zapit cards, and I was like, alright, if I get Rascals and I have like a really crappy card to pick from, like obviously my Rascals will just like get so much more utility. So for instance, if I had the choice between Rascals and Heal, I take Rascals and then he's pretty sad, right? So I'm going to go for Skeletons, I'm going to go in for, uh, wow, I got a lot of like bait elements in my deck. This is a really solid deck that I have. I have Giant Bowler, Dark Goblin, wow, this is awesome. I like it. 
I'm gonna go Dark Goblin and Royal Ghost just to make sure that we preserve our Dark Goblin. He actually poisons the Dark Goblin, so this guy is super frisky. Really feisty from Team Liquid. And I'm gonna go for a Fireball just to make sure that Thick Boy and uh, the crew just gets eliminated instantaneously. So what does he want to do? I don't think that gets a hit. Does that get a hit on me? We're just gonna play around. I don't think that gets a hit. Oh, I got a hit. I should drop Skellies. It's fine though. So I want to push the same lane as where he's going to go in with uh, Hog Rider, right? So I think the Ice Spirit gets hit. I'm not sure. Yep, nice. Yep, nice, right? And now we counter push. What do you have for an answer to this? Oh, you, you have sauce. Sorry, you have the sauce, man. I shouldn't have questioned you. I really shouldn't have. But I think the Bowler's going to get hit, and I don't think he's going to get too much value. Oh, the Inferno Dragon, though. The Inferno Dragon. It's so nasty, man. I'm going to have to go in for goblins off to this side, and I wonder if he's going to poison that or not. Guys, we're literally playing with fire. We can't afford to lose this game. Why would you drop Ice Spear? Do you not know that interaction? Hmm. I think he's probably going to drop Hog. We're getting ready. We're going to drop Bowler. I think I have to drop Skellies. I think it's like... I don't know the interaction with Hog Rider and Bowler, honestly, after the uh, new, new changes. If I drop Skeletons immediately, do I deny everything? I think you know Moji. Spear Goblins chip away so well on top of the Inferno Dragon, though. And the Skeletons provided some insane value. So I'm going to go Royal Ghost here. He's probably going to go for Goblin Gang to counter it after. So remember, he keeps dropping, like... Uh, wow, he's going to give me Fireball value. Okay, I really wasn't expecting that. He's definitely going to go drop another... Oh, he's going for Poison value. And then he's going to go for Hog Rider soon. I got to go for Bowler. Kind of expecting that earlier. Um, I'm going to go in for Spear Goblins. He's going to go in for Inferno Dragon. We're going to try to kill the Inferno Dragon as soon as possible. And then I kind of want to get Fireball value. I don't know. Is this decent? I think it's decent. I think it's decent. If we get Bowler hits. Alright, so I'm going to go in for Bowler. And then I'm also going to go in for uh, Goblins off to the side. Got to make sure the Hog Rider doesn't break through. You cannot touch us, man. Defend the virginity. Simple needs. Okay, I think we go in for Royal Ghost, and I think that we go for Fireball Cycle on him. I think that's probably the play. I don't think we go in for Giant, like, right into him. Oh, Fireball Value, boys! That bowler is balling! Bouncing back the Frisky Rascal right into us. Okay, so now I need to go in for Skeletons, because uh, we can't allow that to hit us. Alright. This is so clutch, man. Gotta go in for Spear Goblins as well. Alright, we're saving enough Elixir for the bowler. I'm going to go for a Fireball. I think that's going to put him in range for one more Fireball and we got the game in the bag. So I got to go for a Bowler. I'm going to be going in for Goblins because they're going to be a little bit more sustainable against the Poison. I don't really care. Oh my god, we're going in for a Dark Goblin. It's going to finish off the Princess and we're going to be on our... Uh, we're well on our way to our 12th win, guys. The hype is real. Let's see it in the chat. Assert Dominance emotes. Whew, the meme. The meme level. It's transcending any classification right now. It's crazy. We need all the luck in the chat that we could possibly get. Hopping into the 12th win, I'm going to pick the Rascals because they're actually pretty solid. Magic Archer or Hog Rider. I'm going to take Hog Rider. We need a win condition. I'm going to take Lightning for sure because that's going to be Lightning value. And ooh, I'm going to take Poison because I don't really want to take Rocket and Lightning in the same way. Also, I have a great way of uh, dealing with like Minion Horde now with Poison. He has Rage, so he does have one bad card. He also gave us Princess and Ice Spirit, so he must be taking really good cards then. I'm a little bit scared. Like, I don't have an answer to Balloon in this at all. I wish I did. I just I just literally just got, like, completely and utterly just violated by a Balloon. Oh my god. <sighs> 11 and 3, I know, man, I know. We'll play one more time, I think. We're actually gonna get a Legendary for our Troubles. If it's a Legendary that counts, then I'll be happy. Okay, so we got a Royal Ghost, guys, alright. That's, that's okay. Kind of okay with getting a Royal Ghost. 19 out of 20? All right, all right. But I was six and two. I guess I should have thrown the challenge maybe. I don't know. All right, guys, here we go. The second time, the second time, please. Please, no, no person with balloon rage. No person with balloon rage. Here we go, here we go, guys. We're trying it again. We're gonna pick guards instead of skeletons. We're going to pick Rascals instead of Executioner because it's a little bit more versatile. We're going to pick Dark Goblin for the DPS. And then he's going to have a lot of cycle cards. I don't know what I want. Do I want Archers? I think they're a little bit more versatile. I just want to make sure that I have a lot of adequate air defenses. And I think that Archers are the play. 
I really am going to stand by that. And then I get screwed with Golem Hog Rider. Oh, all right, please have a worse deck than me. I'm not going to drop anything. Because we have Golem. It's better for me to wait. Okay, Renan Oak. This is why you wait. You want to go same lane as the Giant player. So this is actually a pretty phenomenal start for us. Let's go, guys. Imagine I dropped Golem in the back and he rushed opposite lane with the Giant. Oof, that would have been really tragic. He's got Sparky, though. Hmm. I don't think he's at much elixir, so I'm gonna rush off his lane with Hog Rider and see if we can make anything happen with that. Hopefully. Hopefully something can happen. I'm gonna go with Rascals and then Dark Goblin maybe to finish off the uh, Sparky. I think that the Sparky might die, hopefully. I don't know if I wanna be too promiscuous with this. I do have guards though, so I'm just gonna chill. I'm gonna wait and chill. I'm not gonna overextend my lead. Don't know if I really have a lead, but I'm not gonna overextend. Let's just safely say that, right? Okay. Missed the guard surround. Not good. I end up having to drop Bandit. We do end up defending the tower. That is the silver lining. But if I hit the guard surround, we would have been in a much better situation, guys. And the Dark Goblin will get a lot of damage on the tower, so that is good. That is decent. But, oh, this is kind of a... Why would you do that? Okay. He's going for chip damage. He's just really trying to finish off that tower. I think that we go in for a Hog Rider as soon as possible. Because he's going to be down Elixir, yeah? You also Lightning Rascals, so... Oh man, I forgot. He had Hunter. At least the Hunter's going in the tower that I don't care about, right? We can just kind of ignore that. He's got a great way of killing my Golem, so I don't really know if I want to start Golem pushes because... Uh, yeah, I, I don't really want to start Golem pushes, but I think I kind of have to. I think I have to. And then just rush off his lane with Hog Rider. Okay, we're going opposite lane on him. Hmm. I have to defend that tower too. I don't know how I'm going to. Okay, so if he's going to go really aggressive like that, I can. Probably. If I drop this and then the Rascals separate... Guys, I think that worked. I really think that worked. Holy shit. And then that hit my tower. Okay, we're going to take both towers. We're definitely taking both towers. We need to kill that, like pronto. Please, just die. He has lightning, right? He should be able to end up taking both. Oh my god. Alright, maybe. Maybe if we go golem right here? Gonna go bandit? Please? That was... Oh my god, the princess was on my tower! Holy shit, man! Are you joking? The princess was shooting and it didn't register. Oh my god. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. Let's get some hype in the chat. I don't know why I dropped a hog rider on top of the princess, but we're going to forget that that happened. <laughs> this took way too long, man. This took way too long. And the princess was shooting it. Oh, the meme level is over 9,000 right now unprecedented memes let's go collect our well-deserved rascals getting 200 of them unlocking it it's pretty fresh going right into the chest hopefully we can get some more rascals oh my gosh i uh i can't believe that game getting santa claus santa claus is looking at me he's happy the knight is happy too dude every card is just like grinning at me you know it's we're gonna get a legendary out of this too the, this stream could not get any better right now Holy crap, man. If we get a Royal Ghost, that would make my dreams amazing. No, we got a Magic Archer, though, and that is another one of the legendaries that I really needed. Oh my god, I'm so happy that we persevered and actually decided to stick through with this challenge. I ended up losing the first one, the first time that I tried 11 and 3. We bounced back, though, guys. Holy crap. Awesome. Magic Archer. Got a Royal Ghost from the 11 and 3. Like, this is a really solid way to end the stream. Actually, you know what? I want to go cycle Rascals, and then I want to go in for, for Balloon. Because he's already exhausted his poison, right? Oh, he's, he's going to just let that thing die, right? If he lets that die... Holy crap, that wasn't supposed to be Lightning. Oh my god, well, we just showcased that we... That was supposed to be a Balloon. We would have won the game. We outright would have won the game. Well, I played the game really, really well until I did that Lightning. And we hit that one Spear Goblin, though, guys. We killed that Spear Goblin. <laughs> I guess we asserted dominance on the Spear Goblin, guys. I guess you could say that. We just wanted to Shrek him. <laughs> if we lose the game, now you guys know why.
<laughs> Poor Steve. I know, Steve, uh, he had a family, man. He had a family, I just didn't care about him, apparently. Dropping a balloon instead of dropping the wrong card for once in our life. Are you proud of me, guys? Are you guys in the chat proud of me for dropping the balloon? This is a big life accomplishment, being able to drop a balloon instead of lightning. I, I'm pretty proud of myself, I'm not gonna lie. Balloon with the th uh, thick boy, and then I think that I just have to go in for a lightning and hit something with that. So, we're going in for the lightning. We're actually gonna hit a uh, spear goblin, and yeah, we win the game. Oh my god.